Hello, this is the GPD Micro PC. Now I'm making this video just to show that this can actually run like Fallout 3 and a bunch of 3D games that uh, you just wouldn't expect from this computer because a lot of people have been just doing uh, like DOS games on this and just things that don't really show its performance that well. So I'm going to mute this a bit, but I have mapped the controls to be very well adjusted on this computer and I'm going to show you that here once we get into the game. Yeah, and it runs this pretty well at like 44 FPS. Like, not bad. Let's continue. <laughs> US to Annex Canada. It's gonna happen. <laughs> so, instead of WAS, instead of using the little WAS down here where you have to move your thumb down, I actually placed it up here. So I'm just moving around like that. I have six as you know the A, but up, and then eight as D, but up, and then S as backwards, of course, as two. So you can just like use this as a general basis for most games, just to have this little thing right here. But what I did was also have this button right here be your menu. This be my activate, uh, take out my hands and all that. And then for three, I can use VATS. One, I can punch or shoot or whatever. And then of course, console command, and then main menu, which I can't really map those, but they're pretty good. And here, I'll show you the menu real quick to the controls. And you do have to go into the .any file or whatever to get these working right. And they do look crazy on any other computer because you don't use these numbers for much else. And you, for space for jump, it's more like just a reference. You know, like most people always use that, even though it is out of the way. So yeah, this really does not require too many controls. Oh wait, I forgot to show you the mouse controls. Go over to device. This is mouse. So mouse one does activate. Mouse two does reload. Right, it was reload. And then wheel, which is this, the middle one does pit boy. Pretty sure that's it. Yep. So yeah, this is completely playable. I played a lot. Yeah, let's punch this Brahmin. <laughs> let's just get a little bit of gameplay in, showing you this design. <laughs> oh, you don't care? You don't care that you just punched a Brahmin friend? <laughs> I have disabled some things just to make it run a bit more smoother. I use some low spec gamer adjustments that I don't really need to use, honestly. This is like 15% more powerful than the Win 1. So a good thing to do is to look up like uh, guide videos of the, of the Win 1 and just apply them all to this. Even though this is a bit more powerful and it'll run a bit more smoother, it's still a good reference point. And so yeah, I kept these guys around to just get this fridge over here. Let's... <laughs> you can't really see how well it does with guns because I'm not using one, but it does pretty well. I do like using the trackpad more than the analog of like the Win 2 or Max because it's just... I don't know, it's a lot more perfect, perfected, you know, where it's you're using the control to aim a lot more clear. And analog just is a lot, a lot less precise, I guess. Now I have also, let's just get out of here. For the next video, I'm going to show you. Um, I perfected a bit of PS2 emulation on this. So look forward to that in the future. All right. See ya.